Industrialization for development is at the center of Uganda's growth program. The plan is hinged on the need for increased productivity and value addition in the agricultural production. It is imperative, therefore, for strategic investment and planning with the goal of accelerating sector development. Uh, but the limiting factor is access to finance. We know that our banks are averse when it comes to, to agriculture risk. Uh, this is a sector that indeed is a risky sector, and, and too often uh, the amount of resources coming to, to the sector is not sufficient to promote the desirable impact of uh, agro-industrialization -indu of agro-industries. Uh, so access to finance is, is, is critical, uh, uh, but next is uh, access to market. The 2022 Agribusiness Mkutano in Kampala featured a delegate pool comprising of high-level government officials and related agencies, pension funds, project financiers, development banks and private sector with a common interest of fulfilling the agro-industrialization agenda. Today's conversation about agro-industrialization should um, uh, take this perspective. It should not be agro-industrialization for the sake of it but for the sake of how it influences the developmental prospects of Uganda and how it helps uh, the country to achieve her development objectives. The market cost of financing of 20% and above is not conducive to prospective agro-investors. As a result, products reach the market at higher prices compared to imported agricultural goods. Mkutano, which in Kiswahili means a meeting, is designed to enable engagement between participants with a view of getting a consensus on a specific action ledger. The coffee sector developments, which continue to attract public scrutiny, was among the issues of interest. So very addition should be not be looking at only the bean, should be looking at the whole processes. We should be looking at the whole processes, our educational system, our investment portfolio, and the government. The statistic line on agriculture's contribution to the GDP is 24%, and percentage of workforce deriving livelihood from it is 60%. Dennis Igor for UBC News.